Alright, so today, since we've been working on multiplication and division of fractions, we're going to take a kind of a break from worksheets and stuff like that. We're just going to play a game today for the whole math period. It's going to have to do with multiplication and division of fractions, but it's just going to be fun, kind of laid back. You're not going to be tested on it. Nothing. We're just going to kind of have fun. So let's just kind of review a little bit what we do for multiplication and division of fractions, just so we remember. So let's just do this real quick. Alright, who can tell me the answer? real quick so we can kind of review make sure we can play this game today. 2 over 4? It's multiplication. Oh. <laughs> 116. Yes. 116. Good job, Holly. Alright, so let's do a, a division one real quick. Remember, division is almost like multiplication. Okay, and so who can tell me what to do real quick so I can turn this into multiplication? Cross multiply. Well, what do we do first before we multiply? What do we do with this number right here? Flip it. Over. Flip it. So we can rewrite this as 3 eighths times 5 over 1. All right, so multiply it and tell me the answer. 15 over 8. 15 over 8. All right, good. So we remember how to multiply and divide, which will come in handy for our game today. All right, so I'm going to write our uh, objective so you guys know what we're doing can remember it so it's I can multiply a fraction by a fraction and here's the twist for today's game in less than one minute oh man yeah and then it's the same thing as going to be, I can divide a fraction by a fraction in less than a minute. A fraction by a fraction in less than one minute of coming for our game. So, if I can get everyone's eyeballs up here. We're going to play a game today called Four Dice. So this is what our game board is going to look like. We're going to work in teams today. I'm going to read over the instructions, and I'm going to kind of show you how we're going to play it. So what we do is we create the target number by rolling one dice two times to create the target number. So let's, for example, let's say we have a six. We'll put that as our denominator. And we'll roll it again. So it'll be three. It's our numerator, and that's going to be our target. As you can see, there's little targets all on the board. That's where we would write that number. Then we're going to take all four dice. This is what we're going to use to either multiply or divide to get the closest number we can to this. It's not really about how, I don't want you to be kind of accurate. I just want you guys just to multiply and divide your, the fractions by creating them out of dice. So, so if we roll the dice, so let's say we got three sixths and one fourth. So we can write that however, you know, you can make it if you wanted to do, you know, one sixth and three fourths, it doesn't matter. I'll just do it how I saw it. And we'll multiply, because that's what I feel like doing. So you would multiply that, three and twenty-four. And then your partner, whoever you're playing against, would take the dice, and they would roll it, and they would make some type of equation out of it. So let's say they wanted to do one fourth by, let's go three over one. So it would be three fourth. So then we would have to try and figure out which one is going to be closer to our target fraction of three six. By just looking at which one do you think is closest? Three fourths. Three fourths. So the second player would, would get the point for that round. Just remember, you can, only, you can either multiply or divide the fraction. It is up to you when you roll the dice. So we're going to do one together real quick. So that way we can do it and then we'll, I'll pass out the game boards. So Holly, why don't you roll for our target fraction for the denominator. What number did you get? A five. A five. Good roll, Holly. And Jennifer, why don't you roll for our numerator? Four. What, a four. So we'll, four fifths is going to be our target fraction. All right. So why don't you roll all four? 
All right. And I want you to make two fractions. Okay, three-fourths. Three-fourths. And two-thirds. Do you want to multiply or divide those? Multiply. Multiply. And what's the answer going to be for that? Six, six twelfths. Six twelfths. Which is one half. Or one half, yep. Good job. You can write that up there so it would be easier to figure out. And I'll roll for our second one. Okay, so let's do one half, and I'll multiply over, let's go six over one. Who can tell me what the answer to that is? Six halves. Six halves, or what? Three. Three. Or three. So, between my roll of three or Rachel's roll of one half, which one do you think is bigger or closest to four fifths? Mm, probably three. Three? And why do you say that? Because half is a lot less than four fifths. Mm -hmm. Am Good. I wrong? No, I would say three, <laughs> too. All right, so now I'm going to pass out the game board, and you guys can play around real quick. You will share, I'll team up with Rachel over here, and Holly, you can work with Jennifer. So let's kind of play one real quick. So go ahead and roll one dice to make our target fraction. And I'll write the, it on the board so we can... Okay. One fifth over two. Well, we need our target first. Oh, I have to tell you the target. Yes, we need to roll one die. Okay. And have Jennifer roll one for the. Okay. Mine's four fifths. Just roll one for oh. the denominator. Sorry. That's all right. So five. five. Okay. And go ahead, Jennifer. Five. Five. Oh, that's gonna be an easy one. All right. So now you roll Rachel for our team and make an equation. What do you want to do? Um, five six. Five six. Um, over four halves. Four halves. Okay. And you want to multiply or divide those? Multiply. All right. What would be the answer? Uh, twenty twelfths. Okay. Which nope. would be uh, one, and I don't know the rest. <laughs> eight twelfths. One eight twelfths. Okay, we so we're a little bit over our target. Right. Okay, now pass the dice. Let's let them make an equation and see which team will be closest. Alright. Um, one fourth. Okay. And two fifths. Okay. Which one? Yeah, you want to multiply or divide this? Um, multiply. Okay. <laughs> well, what do you get? Two twenty. Two twenty. Now we got to decide. We think. 1 and 8 twelfths, or 2 over 20 is going to be closer to our target fraction. Mm -hmm. Should have divided. 1 and 8 oh. twelfths. We changed our mind 1 and divide. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late now. You're going to already chose to multiply. All right, and what was that? I think 1 and 8 twelfths is closer. What do you two think? I think she's right. Oh, uh, so we would get the point for that round. Let's do one more all together, and then we'll divide off into teams now that we have an even amount of people. All right, so go ahead and roll one for two. two. Okay. Two. Two. Wow. Mm -hmm. We're back to one. All right, so roll all four together. <laughs> so close. <laughs> uh, three over three. Okay. And three over two. Okay, you want to multiply or divide this? Multiply. <laughs> <laughs> um, multiply. Multiply. All right. <laughs> so what's the answer, Jennifer? Nine six. Nine over six. Which can also equal what? One one. <laughs> so pretty much one and a half if we move. Alright, so pass the dice. Alright. All right. So I have one fourth and two fifths. Okay, you want to multiply divide those. Um Divide, okay. So, what do we need to do with this one right here first? Flip. Flip, okay. So now we can multiply times 5 over 2. And what's the answer? 5 eighths. 5 eighths. So which one do we think is going to be closer to our target fraction? We have 1 and a half or 5 eighths? 5 eighths. Do we agree? Yeah. All right, so Jennifer would get the point there. So now you guys can play all together. Go ahead. 
All right, now that we're done playing all together, <laughs> do you have any other questions about who can multiply and divide? Was that fun? Nice kind of get a break from doing worksheets and tests all the time? Yes. Awesome. All right. So hand me in all those boards with your names on it so I can kind of look over this, make sure you guys understand how to multiply and divide. All right. So what did we do today? We multiplied and divided fractions. All right. And did we meet our two targets? Yes. We did those pretty fast. All right, so as soon as we're all quiet, I'll dismiss you guys for recess. All right, go on out. <laughs>